On this week's episode of Whitetail Cribs, we're making another stop in Southern Ohio to visit with Cameron Deerfield. Get ready to see a home centered around the love of whitetail deer hunting, a homemade bar, and plenty of Ohio giants. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We drop new Whitetail Cribs episodes every single Wednesday. The Exodus team is traveling around the United States to take a look inside the trophy rooms of some of the most interesting whitetail hunters in the country. From giant bucks, unique racks, and riveting stories, welcome to Whitetail Cribs. What's up, Whitetail Cribs? My name's Cameron Deerfield, and welcome to my crib. This is my house. This is my wife's living room, my daughter's playroom. She's uh, kind of special, so she gets her own little playroom and everything. And uh, this is where my wife comes and hangs out when she doesn't want to watch all the countless hours of hunting videos that I watch in my room. So uh, that leads me into my daughter's room. It's, uh, this is the woman who runs the house, basically. She uh, is the boss lady around here. These are the first set of match or first match set of sheds that I've I, I ever found and uh, so that's that's kind of cool I let uh, her use them here and sometimes she'll I'll be changing her diaper and she goes deer so uh, I guess I'll take you upstairs to show you my son's room now he's the uh, spoiled one. Oh, and on, on the way this is my family's pictures um, it's my wife my son my daughter and uh, these guys are what pushed me to do everything. So, kudos to them. This is my old collection of guitars and mandolin. Um, I grew up playing music. My grandpa's actually in the uh, Bluegrass Hall of Fame. So I kind of, you know, just played that. Um, really got into like 90s grunge music for a while and played it, but uh, that's, I don't really touch them any, any, any more, but who knows. This is my son's room here. Um, he has his grandpa's deer, some of his grandpa's deer here. He, uh, he's not really into hunting yet. He, he, he likes every aspect of it, but he just doesn't want to go yet, which is cool. Um, he's, he's only eight, so. He uh, is really into Star Wars and video games, which is not my cup of tea, but I try for him. And uh, his real obsession is Nerf guns. This is all he likes to do. And he's got a whole whole plethora of them here. Um, again, for the grandparents, no more for Christmas. <laughs> but uh, I'll take you down and show you the uh, master uh, bedroom. So on the way to the master bedroom, I'll go ahead and show you my son's bathroom, it's kind of our guest bathroom. Um, it's a nice little cozy bathroom. You can sit here and stare in the mirror and have a lot of good self talks and everything like that. But uh, this, that leads us right into the master bathroom. Um, we got this lovely 1985 seafoam green Florida style tile, um, you know, just a limited edition. And uh, of course shower and everything there, a little bench for in case you ever want to think. Um, now I'll take you into the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. And most people say this is where the magic happens, but I happen to be married, so there's no magic. But uh, got the, got the uh, king size bed, um, gun safe over there. I don't have many guns because it's just not my thing. But uh, this is pretty much where a whole lot of snoring and everything happens. <laughs> and uh, this is our, our laundry room. It used to be a closet. We switched it to a uh, nice little laundry room. And I'll give you a tip. For guys who check their trail cameras all, all year long, free and clear. There's no sense used ever. No, no, no fabric softeners, nothing. So just a little tip. Um, now this is where the magic happens. Uh, if there's one thing I like other than killing really big deer, it's eating a whole lot of food. So we spend a lot of time here um, cooking, talking. You gotta have the TV when you have kids because you'll be cooking food and then if you're not paying attention, there's macaroni on the walls and everything else. But uh, over here in our, in our fridge, you know, the basics, uh, we don't eat sugar or caffeine. 
So we just got, you know, a lot of low fat stuff, a lot of diet stuff. Um, of course, you gotta go, you can't drink regular chocolate milk, so you gotta go with the almond. And uh, then the freezer, you know, we got the Omaha steaks, lots and lots of deer. And uh, that for sure is a turkey foot. Uh, there's a whole turkey in here from last spring that I've been too lazy to take in. Now you get to enter my favorite room. First thing about this room I like is the closet. Um, this, this is way more or organized than what it normally is. Uh, it's normally chaos in here, and, but I've already killed a deer, so I had time to actually make it nice. But uh, that put this right into one of my favorite parts, the bar. This, this was hand built by yours truly, <laughs> um, kind of mocked up, but uh, I, I, used to, I, I used to drink a lot of bourbon, not so much now, but uh, it's a good place to hang bows and sheds at. Um, this is my bow that I shoot now. Uh, first time shooting this, this company's bow. I really, really like it. And uh, knock them down with the serious arrows. Check them out. Um, this bow here is my dad's bow. This bow's been around my entire life. Uh, my dad gave it to my cousin when I was like 18. And I kind of got upset about it. Well, I'm 28 now. My cousin, like this, this past year, gave it to me. And um, so I've been shooting it. And my goal is to actually shoot a deer with it. I'm not saying a big deer, but just eight a deer. Um, big old set of sheds. Uh, those those were found about ten miles from here, probably, and put them put them on that on that on that skull. Um, match set of sheds here, and uh, that leads me right into the wall. Uh, this wall is about 18 years it took to have this wall. Uh, I killed my first deer when I was 10, and uh, from there it just kind of started. Um, what, I, what I'll talk about before I talk about these deer is the sheds. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I don't kill deer unless I have history with them. Um, they have to be five. And this deer, this is a shed from 2018 when he was a, a three-year-old. This year he's four. He hasn't, he hasn't shed yet, um, but hopefully I'll find him, and next year when he's five, it's definitely, definitely time. Um, this shed is off a of deer. This deer, his name is Zeus. He, uh, this is his shed when he was five years old. Um, it's 2016 shed. I actually hunted this deer really hard and ended up shooting this, this deer here. Um, that was probably one of my hardest seasons ever. Uh, this deer I seen like 18 times and just, not a good situation. Um, so that led me to this deer in 2016. Um, that deer was actually on my buddy's property two miles from here, and I never had one single trail cam picture of him, and I shot him on November 27th. And uh, he was chasing, and it took us about a week, and I texted my, texted my uh, buddy, I was like, I think I shot, the, I shot a deer that you had on, on camera, and he pulled up pictures, and, and for sure, it was, it, was, it was definitely him. So that leads me into 2017, when I finally shot Zeus. He was six years old. Um, I, had him, I had Zeus and a deer I named Papa. Uh, and Papa was probably a mid-50s a mid, a mid deer, and he was four. Um, Zeus was six. Uh, the body size was just night and day. And they both walked in at the very same time. The hardest choice I've ever had to make ever. And I ended up shooting him. And letting and, and letting Papa grow. Um, Papa actually got shot two weeks later. Um, he disappeared for about a month and then showed back up and stayed until pretty much until I and until I killed him the very following year. He, uh, I, first picture I got of him that I knew I knew that it was him was in was in April, and from there it just kind of you know completely took over my entire life. Um, he scores 189 and three eighths. He uh, put on about 40 inches from four to five. And uh, I, I actually hunted this deer for 60 days straight, uh, 230 hours, and finally, finally got him. But the deer I passed to kill this deer is right over here. Uh, this, this deer, his name is Rocky. He was, a, he was a mainframe 10 last year. He was five years old. 
The only reason he got the pass is because I was chasing Papa. And uh, I passed him three or four times, I think. And, you know, filmed him and, and everything. And then this year in April again, um, I got pictures of him and I knew exactly which deer I, I was actually looking at. So this deer was way harder to hunt, uh, smarter, I would say. A um, whole lot less pictures and, a, and not as much hunting, but I, I got him finally on, on January 3rd. It was, it was a, a long season. And uh, that's the four deer that I've killed off this farm here. Um, this is a West Virginia public land buck. That's a West Virginia public land buck. Um, a KY buck, a KY buck, and a KY buck. Um, I, we have a family farm down there, so I actually grew up hunting there, but it butted right up to public land, so I mainly just hunted, hunted public because all my cousins and family were just hunting the farm. Um, so I killed those, those, those two deer off public land, and uh, I was 20 years old and 21 whenever I shot those. And the deer that started it all, as far as big deer go, is this deer here. I was 13 whenever I, I, sh I shot him. And uh, that was kind of the moment where I decided I was gonna chase bigger, you know, bigger deer. And uh, then I followed him up with this at, at 17. He's 23 and a half inches wide. Um, he had nine does with him whenever I shot him. And actually this eye was swollen shut and my taxidermist pulled four inches of another deer's brow tine or something right out of his eye. So that was, that was cool. And uh, then I'll show you my, my very first buck because, you know, we've been, we, we, we've been shooting monsters since like day one, you know. Uh, this, is my, this is my first buck when I was 10 years old. And uh, I shot him with a shotgun with my, with, with my grandpa. And uh, when I shot that deer, you would have thought that I shot a giant, <laughs> you know. Um, but that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, it's been fun. I'm not saying you got to go home, but you got to get the heck out of here because we got stuff to do. So, uh, bye-bye now. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Cameron with Exodus. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick apology for the dirty screen. If you noticed that and you were thinking that your screen was dirty, it's not you, it's me. I apologize. But anyway, thanks for watching and we will see you next week.